Hello my Aquariuses and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course I'm Debbie and I'm reading for February 25th through March 2nd. I've done an overview, can't remember what I called it. Take a, while, take a look at it because there's still a lot of Aquarius energy going on right now. But it is transitioning. It's in, we're, all, we're in such interesting times, it's, it's hard to even get a grip on it. Now, remember these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. So in between, when I'm doing, when I'm getting ready for the next, I start, you know, I, I like I do what I say, pray, meditate. And I start asking questions, but I also start talking. And I'm like, oh no, I've got to say these things to Aquarius. I can't just say these and keep them all to me. So my Aquarius is, it's a very intellectual time for you. Now, kind of goes with the, what I was talking about with, um, maybe with a little bit with Libra stuff going on. And yes, Amy, I probably do pick up Missy with this. So I will acknowledge and validate you on that. But it's very much a change in your thought direction okay um it's almost like you have to be a little more um you know you, you have to you actually have to leave the emotions aside and you're doing what you know to be right you you're doing what you know to be ethically right morally right it's a very but it's not always easy to transition with that because other people are trying to pull you in or trying to you know they're like they're kind of like oh look at what Aquarius Aquarius thinks uh, he she is so uh, you know it is so you know above us all uh, the thing about it is my Aquarius it's not that you're thinking that you're above your you're above them all it's not you know you don't want that but you're just doing there's there's just this sense of for my Aquariuses and I've been talking about this there's such a sense of purpose in your path and in your mission and others are not going to understand it they're not there's a lot of justice energy which is eight uh, which is um, unlimited opportunity which is raguel energy raguel raguel is very very and I, i'm get i'm pulling that up for you raguel is very um interesting archangel um it's all about justice and balance good stuff so again we have a little bit of that libra stuff uh you know shining in but the thing about raguel is when you know so something happens and all the archangels get together and they're going to make they're going to make a determination on what the punishment or reward is, right? And when it gets down to it, if it, if there's no clear decision, Raguel comes and says, "I'm making the decision then." And makes the decision. Could be the deciding vote or could just say, "This is what's being done." Okay? So I'm kind of picking a lot of that up for you my Aquariuses. I have been picking it up, and it could be um, coming a little bit more in, during this week. It could be. I'm just feeling it's not a comfortable Aquarius. It's not comfortable per se, but it's something that just in your gut, in your heart, you know, need it, you know, it has to be done this way. It's very. Uh, but again, too, whenever that happens, my Aquarius is please take a moment to pray to meditate connect with your higher power and make sure that you're not oh you're not it's not so much in your head that it's also what is needed in the work in you know the divine universe the divine god okay i don't know something had to be said but and i was saying all of this between cards no i gotta say it on on the air anyway let's see higher power holy spirit what else is there for my aquariuses because again, it's not a comfortable position for you. It is a it is a position of leadership for you, though, too, my Aquariuses. And everything is reversed, so it's got a little more zing to it. Okay, let's see. First card is Six of Gabriel. Well, I love the Six of Gabriel because this is a victorious card, okay? Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. Gabriel is our fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, remember, Aries is that north node pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward. After Pisces, Aries comes and starts the new astrological year. This is a victorious card, whatever you've been working on. This is something that says you're doing a great job. You are doing what you're supposed to be doing. 
Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, or promotions. So you, so there's honor here. There's being honored here. You know, now granted to, there, and I know this is, you know, we tend, we want to do it all in the physical, but there is a metaphysical battle going on, my Aquariuses, and you're doing a lot of the work, a lot of the fighting on this plane. Okay, whoo, whoever needed to hear that. Next card, reversed again, the four of Michael. So four, leadership, organization, uh, stability. Michael is your energy. It is also Gemini. It is also Libra. Thought processes, thinking things through, making plans. <sighs> this is where you have to take your moments. You have to actually, and my Aquarius is the way your life is right now. I want you to put it in your calendar. I want you to schedule your meditation. I want you to schedule your rest breaks. Okay? This is you needing to let that your brains, you know, try to slow it down a little bit. Now, meditation, a lot of times people will say with the meditation, um, you know, I can't stop my brain. My brain keeps going. You just want to try to slow it and you want to maybe try to, you know, redirect it into something that's not going to be work related, not going to be life related. You want to study, you want to slow your your body down and you want to try to slow your brain and maybe just kind of, you know, what I would do, again, Raguel keeps popping up for me, for you. But maybe you want to say, Raguel, 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 what do I, what, you know, I, I open myself, I protect myself, always, you know, Lord Jesus, cover me with your cloak of protection. I open myself to what do I need to know, what, or, or help me to relax, or help me to have some, you know, have some downtime so that I can be ready to be up again. Okay, I don't know about you, but whenever I've been able to sleep during stressful times, answers to stressful questions come when I'm sleeping. Anyway, insights that come from quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. Next card reversed. King of Gabriel. And I love King of Gabriel because King's underlying energy is air. Gabriel, the overlying energy is again fire so you know so the king of air the king of of um michael is very focused this is what i need to do i can see my steps it is you know it is very much you know i can see if i do a then b c you know kind of flow charty very king of michael that way gabriel is not so much on the you know on the steps as he's on okay if, and if we do the unusual then this will happen then this will happen then this will happen he's looking at a very big picture he's almost you know he sees more than the king of swords now the king of swords king of michael king of air is is considered one of the oldest in the tarot decks the oldest figure um you know in the plane of this reality not the you, you know not the higher energies um, but Gabriel has a wider scope. And that's what the King of Gabriel wants to say to you. Oh, my, one of my lights, my lights fell down. Okay, let, well, let's go on. Okay, not sure why that happened. We'll do that. We're back. Okay, so he wants you to look at the big picture. He does not want you to be narrow-minded. He wants you to see the whole screen. Okay, so King of Gabriel, generous inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So even though a lot of this seems to be that you're very intellectual with this, there is a passion for others, okay? So you have not cut that piece off of you, my, my Aquarius. You're just, your focus is just a little bit at a higher level right now. Okay, hope any, I hope this makes sense, but you know, like I said, I've got to let it just come through, and it goes to wherever it is needed. That was odd with my life doing that. Anyway, let's see what else we have here. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do we have for our, oh, well, that in itself. Now, I'm going to have to try to go over here and get this card. Come on, I'm trying to fish for this card. Okay, come on. So we have a messenger here. We have a messenger. <laughs> it 
it is reversed. It is reversed. So here we go. Messenger of abundance. So this would be the page or messenger of earth energy. Okay. Earth is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Virgo full moon, the 24th. Taurus has all that Jupiter energy going on. Really strong stuff. Capricorn is free for a while. 16 years. No planets now are in Capricorn. So this is usually starting a new job. This is hearing about new job, hearing new money, hearing new career. Okay, so this could be messenger. It could be page. It could be starting or hearing about. So here we go. Wonderful news regarding your career. A new job, a promotion, or acceptance into an excellent school comes your way, into your life. It <laughs> comes into your life. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. This person, who may be you, is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. So something is changing for you, too. And it's kind of like you can't go back, my Aquariuses. Uh, you know, I just, I mean, I know the cards aren't quite there, but it's like you can't go back. The back is now the past. It's one of the best releases that I've seen in a long time. So, you know, this could definitely be, you know, the age of Aquarius. I know that it's an age where we have Pluto for, what, 20 some, or almost 20 years, 20 years. Um, age of Aquarius, some people have said it started at 2012. Some will say that it's going to be 2600, some 2026. You know, we don't really, you know, but I, we can feel the shift. And my Aquarius is you're being called up. Okay, let's see what we have. Inspirational wisdom from angels and fairies. What else do we have for our Aquariuses? What do we have for our Aquariuses? What do we have for our Aquariuses? Here we go. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to take... The top of this one and the top of this one because they both kind of want to be seen. So let's see what we've got here. Come on. Here we go. Okay, first, well, I don't know which one's first, so let's see. Fairy Rebels. All right. Let's see. You can be joyful. Your life can be joyful if you allow your faith to open the doors that will make this happen. Remove the barrier and everything will be clear. Fairy Rebels. And let's see, what does this one say now? Fairy of the Mystic Forest. Interesting, too. Like, oh, okay, so your life can be joyful if you allow your faith to open the doors. And this one says, you have, I like to, you to see, there we go. Can we see that? You have the power and aptitude to make your dreams come true. All you need now is commitment to make it happen. Interesting. Now, I'm going to do my crystal and, and uh, crystal and energy cards, and then I'm going to do angel answers. So get your question ready. Remember, that one is mostly for fun. Here we go. Let's see what we have. What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Aquariuses? What would be helpful for my Aquariuses? Here we go. Here we go. All right. Celestite. That popped up for someone else. I don't remember who it was, though. But if you cross-watch and see it, take it as validation. Communicating with angels. Tranquility. Good fortune. Deep. Meditation. Okay, meditation again. All right, so get your question. Questions, questions. Anyone's got questions? Let's see. Okay, an answer for Aquarius. What answer is there for my Aquariuses? Answer for my Aquariuses. Answer for Aquarius. Answer for Aquarius. Oh, okay. It's a blue card that has a little more definitive answer. So, let's see. Unlikely. Unlikely. Interesting, interesting. Like I said, don't make life decisions, but it could also be, is someone after my job? unlikely so it might be the right answer at the right time okay my Aquarius is interesting inter I know I went kind of ranted at the beginning but like I said when it starts to come like that I just got to get it on air anyway my Aquarius is please 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 do take a moment and do what I like you know do the like share subscribe 
clicking on the bell for notifications. It helps keep me motivated to come back, so thank you. Also, if you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, my Aquarius is most important part of the whole thing. Always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.